Also at 5.30, a story exclusive to Eyewitness News. Parishioners at a Roman Catholic church in Upper Darby are facing a big challenge, saving their church. They're confronting an environmental nightmare and the culprit is ceiling tiles. Joe Holden is in Upper Darby with the story of a very, very tough situation. Good evening, Joe. Yuki, good evening. Indeed, it is for the parishioners here. Now, this church, the upper church we're talking about, was put on, added here in the 1960s. Along with that, a sizable A-frame roof. And the ceiling we're talking about is that acoustic tiling. The pastor says because it has a, uh, an asbestos component to it, it must come down because some of those tiles are beginning to come loose and fall. St. Lawrence Church is a massive structure as seen from Chopper 3. The campus is located on Westchester Pike in Upper Darby. Its hulking A-frame slate roof towers above the property. But what lies beneath that roof, a dated ceiling, a 10,000 square foot network of single asbestos containing tiles. Father Jeffrey Rott says some of those tiles have loosened, others have already fallen to the floor. Pastor here for one year, Father Rott says the ceiling must come down. We do not currently have the funds. We we have been saving some funds. I've reached out to a few of our uh, most generous supporters to the parish and had a conversation with them, and I have some set aside from them. The price tag is casting doubt. The cost is nearing seven figures, a potential million dollar bill that Parish Council President Harry Dietzler says St. Lawrence may not be able to afford. It's not a rich parish. Um, there's only so much the parishioners can do. And I think we really need to reach out to people who grew up here and went to school here. All masses have since shifted to what's known as the lower church. For now, Father Rott is hoping to reach some contributors to help offset the cost. He says the archdiocese already concluded the parish would likely not be able to raise enough money to begin the project. The scope of the project is big. Uh, I can't worry about it, though. I, I can just ask people to contribute, to support, and to, to know that we are doing our best. Well, and aside from removing the ceiling, there were a number of options presented. One of them was to build a lower ceiling and basically wall off or, or contain the uh, tiles above it. But that was rejected by the pastoral council because it would majorly change the interior appearance of the church. Another concept is once they take this ceiling down, they're just going to leave it there. The A-frame uh, exposed. They are fingers crossed that there aren't more problems behind it. Live in Upper Darby, Joe Holton, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Boy, okay, Joe, thank you.